the Lateran Basilica, also known as San Giovanni Laterano, is located just inside the ancient Roman walls. It was a gift of the Emperor Constantine to Pope Melchiadi I, shortly following the Edict of Milan in 313. The name Lateran comes from an important Roman family that had owned the land in the first century. The basilica was consecrated in 324 by Pope Sylvester and dedicated to the Most Holy Redeemer. It was later dedicated to St. John the Baptist in the 10th century and then to St. John the Evangelist in the 12th. It remained the See of the Holy Father and also his area of residence from this time of its initial dedication until the 14th century. The first church constructed was known as the Golden Basilica because of its great beauty and rich artwork. The church was sacked twice in the third century through the barbarian invasions and also endured an earthquake and several serious fires through which it lost all of its original decoration and was largely destroyed. The church has been rebuilt, restored, embellished, and enlarged through the centuries. This work often coinciding with proclaimed jubilee years, the first of which was celebrated here in 1300. Five ecumenical councils were held at this location. The present facade was completed in the 18th century by Galilei, and the last major restoration of the interior was completed in the Baroque style in the 1600s by Francesco Borromini, who constructed several of the side chapels and the niches for the large statues of the Twelve Apostles that line the central nave. The apse, which was expanded in 1878, contains a mosaic depicting Christ the Savior and is a careful reconstruction of the original artwork dating from the 4th or 5th century. Tradition holds that the relic of the heads of Saints Peter and Paul are held within the reliquaries that are found in the Baldacchino over the high altar. Above the altar, to the left of the main altar, is preserved a piece of the table from the upper room, where the Last Supper was held and Jesus instituted the Eucharist. The main altar is constructed of the wood of a table upon which St. Peter celebrated Mass while living in Rome. This table is now encased in the present marble altar. This church is the cathedral or seat of the Bishop of Rome, that is, of the Holy Father. And as the sign on the facade proclaims, it is the mother and head of all the churches in the city and of the entire world. In this church, the mother of all churches, we contemplate the essence, the heart of the church. What is at the center of her identity? As Mother Adela Galindo explains, the primacy of love is the essence, nature and vocation, heart, path and destiny, and authentic force for the life and mission of the Church as the potent force that moves her through history and through the challenges of every generation and today as the force that leads the Church into the ocean of the new millennium with the task of the new evangelization for the building of a new civilization has been clearly and strongly highlighted by the most recent pontiffs. One of these popes was St. John Paul II, who addressed these words at his installation as Bishop of Rome in this basilica on November 12, 1978. The day has come on which Pope John Paul II arrives in the Basilica of St. John Lateran to take possession of his chair as Bishop of Rome. 
I wish to kneel down in this place and to kiss the threshold of this temple, which has been for so many centuries the dwelling of God with men. God the Savior with the people of the eternal city, Rome. In the framework of this marvelous meeting of the old and the new, I wish today, as the new Bishop of Rome, to begin my ministry to the people of God in this city and of this diocese, which became, because of St. Peter's mission, the first in the large family of the Church in the family of the sister diocese. The essential content of this ministry is the commandment of charity, this commandment which makes us men, friends of Christ. You are my friends if you do what I command you. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. O eternal city, O dear brothers and sisters, O Roman citizens, your new bishop wishes above all that we should remain in Christ's love and that this love should always be stronger than our weaknesses. Love constructs, only love constructs. Love is first in the heart of the church and is the motor and the goal of all her life. Let us pray together these words based on the prayer of St. Paul for the Church in Ephesus, offering this prayer for the Universal Church and for each of her members. May Christ dwell in our hearts through faith, that we, rooted and grounded in love, may have the strength to comprehend with all the Holy Ones what is the breadth and length and height and depth and to know the love of Christ that surpasses all knowledge, so that we may be filled with the fullness of God. <laughs>